car in focus here is the first refresh of Merck's second generation all activity vehicle which we know of as the B-Class. The B-Class has been a success for Mercedes-Benz, the first generation says, selling close to 700,000 units and this baby is already well past the 380,000 units mark. It needs to better the first generation. So what has Merck done for the midlife refreshed? Daytime running lights, a little bit of change in the headlamps. The overall form and proportion remain the same. It's the same package, mind you, but a lot of slight, tiny details which manifest themselves. This car has the optional AMG trim. Overall, five diesel engines and five gasoline engines, plus, more importantly, two alternate drive units coming in, which will unfortunately not come to India. But the big story as far as the refresh goes is in the adoption of the CPA Plus technology, the Crash Prevention Assist Plus, which relies on radar to deliver autonomous braking. And this is one very important element in the makeup of the new B-Class. Let's head out onto the roads and put this baby through some of the best driver's roads here on the Spanish island of Mallorca. It is familiar territory as far as the cockpit and the cabin. I think it's only in detailing where some sort of differentiation has cropped in. But yes, the dials are completely new. It's a new layout over there. Uh, looks uh, refreshed to be precise. But everything else, the fine driving position, all the paddle chips, absolutely ergonomically placed. Yes, there's a fair bit of AMG trim which has manifested itself, especially the carbon fiber uh, paneling, the Napa leather with the red stitching which predominates even on the steering wheel. By and large, it is a familiar package which many who have bought the A-Class before and the B-Class as well. So, by and large, Mercedes has banked on evolution rather than anything else. With over 380,000 second generation B-Class cars already sold, this midlife refresh comes in at a time where the second generation car is trying to better the 700,000 first generation B-Class cars sold. I think it's well on its way there. The 100 horses which this small but potent four pot engine makes would be more than adequate for the billiard smooth roads here in Spain. But for India, it would definitely be the 300 Newton meters of torque which would make their presence felt in more ways than one. Punching their way through just not out of corners or even in the low cogs. But there is the torque which is also so very important because it manifests itself in very decent fuel efficiency and as you know in India diesel has to have fuel efficiency but with the added thrust of the 300 Newton meters this is one potent all activity vehicle.